Hi guys, had a request from Roshan to do another electric boat. I've done quite a few electric boats so I thought I'd try and make this one a bit different. Um, this is a very cheap boat from my bargain store, a pirate ship, which is just for kiddies to play with. And what I'm going to do, we don't need these bits, I'm just going to convert the boat to electric power. So I'm going to use a small one and a half volt motor. Uh, that propeller uh, came off a garden ornament. It's actually supposed to be a, a fan that blows in the wind, but that'll do for the propeller. Uh, drinking straw. bicycle spoke and some insulation stripped off some power cable which we need to join the, the motor to the prop shaft oh, and obviously some batteries to power the motor. Uh, I'm not quite sure where this little battery pack came from, something I've harvested at some time or other and put some wires on, but that'll do to power the motor. And a few off cuts of some polystyrene foam to pad it out and position it in the right place. First thing I'm going to do is melt a hole in the bottom of the boat for the prop shaft to go through. I'm going to use my soldering iron to do it. If you haven't got a soldering iron you might have to heat up a piece of wire or a nail or something or just drill a hole. Right, I need it to go at a bit of an angle so I'm make it an, making it an elongated hole. that and then I'll have to put some hot glue on there to seal it. Right, motor's going to go up there somewhere so we need to cut this about there somewhere. where my scissors are. Alright, so the, pro the propeller shaft needs to be long enough to go to the motor at one end and to the propeller at the other end, so something like that. That particular propeller, the hole in it is much too big, so I'm going to use a piece of this insulation to pad out the end of the prop shaft. Put it in there. Right, that's a good tight fit. That's going to go up through there. And then we'll need another piece of that insulation. To connect it onto the motor at the other end. But I won't do that until I've pushed it through the hole. And make sure that the propeller isn't going to hit the bottom of the boat. So I'll put some hot glue on there to get it in place. And then we'll do the next stage. 
Right, I've just realised with a bit of careful positioning, I can actually sit the motor right at the very front of the boat. So I can hot glue the motor right up here. Motor glued in position. I'm also going to use a 9 volt battery, which is probably too much. But I happen to have a 9 volt battery that I've got a little switch on it, which is convenient for turning the motor on and off. And I've just put a bit of bit of hot glue on the bottom of the battery and it just stands there nicely. So that saves me a bit of time. I'm going to put a rudder on the back. So I've just bent a piece of that power cable, copper wire, which I'll hot glue on this piece of plastic and then hot glue it onto the back of the boat so that we've got steering. all up together so we can give it a test. Give the rudder a bit of a turn. See how we go. Pretty effective. Turn the rudder the other way. So that was quick and easy. Electric conversion of a cheap bargain store boat to electric power with steering. There you go.